The eraser tool within our tech studio is quite powerful, but still very easy to use. So this tool works on both raw scan data and fuse data, and I'll go over how to use it with both. We're going to start with the raw scan data. So I have that selected over here in my workspace. I'm going to come over on the left hand side and click the editor tab and then click the eraser. So the most common thing you're going to do, one of the more common things you're going to do with the eraser tool is this cutoff plane selection. So if you're not using the auto base removal in the scan tab, you will be left with bases or you know whatever your, scan, your scanned item was sitting on uh, when you were scanning it. And the cutoff plane selection within the eraser tool makes it very easy to get rid of that. So something to keep in mind here uh, when you're using the eraser tool, what might be helpful is sometimes coming up here and changing this to the points view. That can be easier to see things um, by default. Sorry, by default is going to be on the solid view. So you can play around with the view options to make sure you're able to see everything uh, the way you need to so that you, uh, you're not erasing things that you shouldn't be. Notice sometimes in the solid uh, view, the points will kind of kind of make these spikes around these edges and you might not really be able to see very well uh, around those edges. So I can come to my points view and it cleans up those edges a lot more in your view. Again, you're just looking at raw data, so this is just changing how it's displaying it. So I'll leave it at the points for this one. I'm going to use the cutoff plane selection. Whenever you use the eraser, you'll select your selection mode over here on the left, and then you'll come over on the right, you'll hold the control key, and then nothing's going to happen until you move your mouse a little bit. And then you'll see that this little uh, selection circle pops up. Now, I can use my mouse wheel to scroll up and down to make it larger or smaller. And then if I left click, it's going to select data. So I'm going to position this like this. Hold control, scroll down a little. I just want a small circle here. And just paint a little bit right there. And then with the selection tool, I like to paint a little bit on either side of the object just to give it a nice uh, data set to kind of average that out. And then what I'm going to do I'm going to hold Control and Shift, and then move my mouse a little bit. The circle will pop up again, but what I'm going to do this time is just scroll up on my mouse wheel while holding Control and Shift, and notice that just lets me move my plane up and down. Most of the time when you select the base, it'll kind of look like this with a little bit above, a little below. It depends on what kind of base it was. This one, uh, the, the turntable that I was using for the scan, has a lot of raised geometry on it. So it's not going to be able to find the exact surface there. But it will get close, and then you hold Control shift and normally if you just click up once on your mouse wheel, that's enough. Now keep in mind that when you do this, when you click up once, it may cut off a little bit of the bottom of your model here. And this is kind of hard to see. Again, let's move back to the solid view. And notice, it may be cutting into my model just a little bit. That's not a big deal if you have multiple scans. So I have, when I scanned this object, I turned it over on its side and I scanned under, underneath the feet anyway in a separate scan. So getting rid of a little bit of that data isn't really a big deal. But that is something to keep in mind when you're using the tool. So I can click Erase. And everything above that plane stays and everything below gets erased. So that's the most commonly used option within uh, with raw data and I can come in here I can do 2D selection just kind of paint and erase things I can do all kinds of stuff when you're using the eraser tool keep in mind that you can also undo things that you erase so don't be afraid to uh, that you're going to lose something immediately because you should be able to come back and click control Z or the undo button up here in the uh, workspace right above the workspace and that will get back what you just erased, if you ever erase anything accidentally. All right, I'm going to switch over to some fused data. This is a, a fusion created from the data. And we're going to look at the other eraser options. So, 2D selection, by default, if I just click 
Again, I held control and then left clicked. By default, it's going to go all the way through the model. So there may be some times where you don't want that to happen. This select through option here up in the top view bar, if you deselect that, and then come over here, I'm going to paint a little bit right here. Notice it only painted the one side of the model. So that's really handy. Um, that's just something to keep in mind. Now, in conjunction with the select through, let's say for some reason this fusion had something fused on the inside or some sort of feature maybe that wrapped around inside or something that you were able to get with multiple scans and then you aligned it all and you can no longer get to a portion of the model that you need to work on. You can come in here, I'm just going to use the, the 2D selection, and I'm going to click hide. So this hide button here will hide whatever is currently selected. It's not erasing it, it's not a preview of what would, um, of what the model will look like once you click erase, it's just to hide that data that you just selected. And then let's say there was something here on the back side. Now I could come in and select some things here, click erase. And now everything that I, everything that I uh, hid comes back and then what I had selected gets erased. And it did erase on the back side here because when I hid that, it put a hole through there and I actually had selected it on the front and back side here. I just overlapped. So that's why there's a hole on the back side as well. I'm going to click undo. Another option here would be if you go to the eraser, I think this might be a better option. Maybe you want to come in here and select something that you don't want to get rid of. You want to be able to erase a bunch of stuff without worrying. You want to be really careful, you know, with a certain portion. And then, of course, I don't have select through enabled here, which would be handy for this one. So, you know, maybe, maybe I wanted to be really careful with all that and make sure I didn't erase anything on it. So I could click hide. And then I could come in and... you know, erase a whole bunch of stuff here. Now I'm left with that and everything else that I selected is erased. So I don't actually, I don't use that hide tool very often, but it is there in case you run into some sort of situation where you need it. All right, we'll go back into the eraser. So that's 2D selection. And again, don't forget about the, the select through option. 3D selection brings up a sphere that you can make larger, smaller, and everything within the sphere is going to be selected. And the center of that sphere is, is the surface of the model where your mouse pointer is. So this is handy, you know, for going over the surface. Maybe if you wanted to follow the surface of the object and erase like that. So that's another option the 3D selection tool. Rectangular selection, exactly what it sounds like. Hit control, this is kind of a standard option in most editing tools. Hold control, drag, let go, and it's going to select a rectangular portion. We'll undo that, go back in the eraser. Lasso selection is another uh, nice tool. Some people are very used to using this in their, their own program, so it's, it's nice to have this in here. I'm gonna hold control again, come up here, and do my lasso selection. When I let go, it closes it off and selects everything. A lot of times with the, with the lasso tool, when, when people see that there's a lasso tool, they ask if there's a way to invert the selection. Uh, there is not currently a way to do that, unfortunately. Okay. And that should be it. Yes. Um, if you ever find yourself needing to change your perspective view because you're not able to make correct uh, cuts or, or edits, you can go to view and say, you know, change from perspective view, which is the default, to orthogonal view. And that can help with, with your selection a lot of times as well and maybe lining things up properly and then erasing 
Uh, it's just another, another tool to set yourself up for proper erasing and editing of your models. And that's it for the eraser tool in Artec Studio.